of the day. Spaz Alice and John Hall, your pastor, airways, and spiritual entertainment. It encourages you to get your exercise on today. Thank you, God. My dog is running slow. I can't believe it. She's not trying to kill me today. Isn't this a treat? Oh, my gosh. Thank you, Nikita. Good girl. That's a wonderful, comfortable pace for grand for mommy. Mm -hmm. Thank you. She's just appreciative that I'm not leaving out of town. She see me packed. That I'm not leaving before getting her getting our little prayer right on. So she's grateful. So she running slow. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God. Holy Spirit, thou art well. Come in this place, Holy Spirit, thou art well. Come in this place, omnipotent Father of mercy and grace, thou art well. Come in this place, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Lord. Oh, thank you, Lord, for another day of life. A day that we've never seen before. A day that we'll never see again. We praise you, Lord. Magnify you. We're still here. If you're still here, y'all, God got a purpose for you. So pick your head up. <laughs> know that God don't make no junk. And we all have a purpose. If you don't know your purpose, just ask him. He'll tell you. Because I asked him and he told me. He is no respect of persons. What he does for one, he'll do for the other. Because he loves all his children. God loves all his creations. You hear me? We the ones don't show him love. But if you just praise God, and if the Lord inhabits the praises of his children, acknowledge him for who he is, our creator. Know that you didn't make yourself. And, and, and start, like I said, the Lord inhabits the praises of his children. And you start praising him. You start thinking about stuff to be thankful for. And he will come and show sure enough see about you. Draw near to God and he will draw near to you. Jeremiah 13, 15, call to answer. And I will show you great and mighty things that you know not. Y'all, he showed me how to get off of medication that I was taking for 20 years for bipolar. One. And it made me sick. It made me, gave me 177 migraines from 2017 to 2018. The legs would just give out. I just fell everywhere. I fell in church, fell down my steps, fell at the doctor's office, fell on the sidewalk. I was just falling everywhere to the point I had to retire from being a Spanish and art teacher for Baltimore City Schools for 22 years. But once I was retired, I got my, my retirement and my my disability and God said I was praying one day God said that medicine is killing you I said well you got to teach me how to get off because when I stopped abruptly over the 20 years a couple times it was not good I had to check myself in to the mental institution for five days two times because I just abruptly stopped taking you can never stop abruptly taking something you've been taking for a long time so I and he told me to check myself do attend a day program had to take had to take take disability van to the to attend the program for two weeks and I saw a psychiatrist every day and I, I saw the, a doctor um a nurse every day and I attended the groups and I worked on myself while they showed me how to safely wean off of that medication and I've been medication free since May 28th of 2019 and girlfriend is happy every day hallelujah <laughs> And if I could be happy every day, anybody can. So that's what I'm doing. I'm on here out of gratitude every day, trying to encourage people to walk in happiness and divine healing like I do. They standing on God's word because God's word is true. God's word is true. The word of God say, Isaiah 53, 5, for he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. And by his stripes, we are healed. That means we are healed. So any symptoms we have to the contrary, they're lies and attacks from Satan. And you don't have to accept them. 
you can speak out of your mouth and say, like I do, like I do, this is the only way I can be able to do this. Okay, Nikita want to go farther. Okay. The only way I can do this, having missed a day since June 7th of 2019, this is how I do it, y'all. I say, Satan, you are lying. By Jesus' stripes, I am healed. You take this, this headache and go back to hell where you belong. You take this backache, you go back to hell, take it, go back to hell where you belong. Satan, you take this depressed feeling, go back to hell where you belong. All good things come from God. All the negative stuff come from Satan that we don't have to accept it. Jesus, God's word says, this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. So every day God gives us, it's our choice to be happy. And it's possible, y'all, I didn't think it was possible. I used to be depressed. I used to sleep and sleep and sleep and sleep and sleep and sleep. I used to complain and complain and complain and complain and complain and complain. But now I live out a place of gratitude, thankful for another day, thankful for another day of life. I will not take it for granted. Mm -mm, I'm a fight for my happiness. And the one that we fight is not our loved ones. We fight the devil. We wrestle not against flesh and blood, blood against, but against principalities, powers, rulers of darkness of this world, spiritual wickedness in high places. That's who our fight is. So we fight this flesh. And we're using the fruit of the spirit. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, gentleness, faithfulness, and self-control. And we do a fruit check, fruit check regularly. That's what I do. I was like, was I patient today? If I wasn't, oh Lord, forgive me. If I got to apologize to somebody, I apologize to them. If I do anything, that's not contrary to the to the fruits of the spirit. I repent right away. When you mess up, fess up. That's what I do, and God honors that. You hear me? You talk about peace. You talk about peace that surpasses all understanding. Mhm, mm mhm. Mm yeah, yeah. It's a choice, y'all. God has made our minds amazing. We are fearfully and wonderfully made. You hear me? And we can choose to think and feel any way we want. We resist. James um, James 4, 7 says, resist the devil. Well, it said, therefore, surrender to God, resist the devil, and he will flee. So whenever I have any problems, say, Satan, I resist you. Father, I surrender to you. Satan, you got to flee. Because that's what the word of God, Satan has to obey the word of God. If you proclaim it, whatever you speak out of your mouth, believing, you shall receive. And I believe God's word. I believe God's word. And, and he teaches me through his word. Reading the Bible. If it's something that I shouldn't focus on, he leads me away from that. Because it's just, just trust God. Don't trust man. Don't trust man. But trust God. You hear me? And if there's anything that shouldn't be there, so anything in the Bible that you're reading from, you know, that shouldn't be there, the Holy Spirit will reveal it to you. Just trust him. Thank you. Uh -oh. Just trust him, y'all. You hear me? But the Bible is our source. It's, where we, it's, it's what we need. We need God's word. We need God's word, y'all. Don't ever forsake the Bible. I won't ever forsake the Bible. I know, I know you say that they, they, they took the Dead, Dead Sea Scrolls out and, and they took the Maccabees out and, and they did this and they did that. But the Holy Spirit is our teacher. You hear me? It is an inspired word of God. Man, man is not perfect. But God is, and his spirit is, and he who worships God must worship him in spirit and in truth, trusting him to lead you, trusting him to guide you. So, y'all, hallelujah, thank you, Holy Spirit. I see one person, it says one person's watching. If you say hi, I don't know who you are, and I can pray for you. I love to make it personal. Holy Spirit leads me, and he gives me words for people sometimes. I don't have to be shy. I'm just about love, y'all. I ain't gonna put, you know, it's nothing to fear. It's nothing to fear. Just say hello. 
<laughs> I'm here trying to help. That's all. I don't want to embarrass you. or I just want to love on you. I just want to pray for you. Because God, I believe. I believe that, that his word, that he says, make your supplications known unto God. So I make my supplications known for myself and for my loved ones. Oh, Lord. Okay, well, I'm going to get off of here. May God bless you and keep you. May his face shine upon you and be gracious to you and give you peace. Amen.